Hello there and hello November. <laughs> I'm Mackenzie Ray of Ray Runs Free and I am here today with my November bullet journal setup. As always, if you like my videos, please like, please comment, and please subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I release new ones. I had so much going on in October. This was the latest that I've ever personally set up a bullet journal before the new month. I like to have things ready to go a little earlier than now. I was just so busy and I was out of town for a bit and I just didn't get to it. So I really wanted my November spreads to be as functional as possible, especially since life kind of feels like a never ending to-do list right now. So I wanted them to still work for me while being a little pretty. So I hope that you enjoy. Let's get into setting up. These are all of the supplies that I'm using in this video. I'm gonna have everything in the description box below along with the specific colors. Starting out, I'm beginning with a quote page to start off the month. This is a quote from the play Hamilton, specifically the song 10 Dual Commandments. I love the political feel of it. I also just love the message since everything kind of feels like a challenge to get through right now. I really enjoy creating these squares, this geometric pattern. It's going to be tied through the entire spread. It's not very complicated, yet I feel that at the end it looks very, not busy, but it almost looks like it was complicated to create. Right now I am doing almost a mirrored effect. I'm doing the same pattern on both sides of this page. Um, it's almost a Dutch door, but I didn't push it in that far because I wanted it to be on the edge of the page so that I could still use all of the page. It creates almost an optical illusion though, whatever I'm turning the pages in the journal, seeing the same pattern mirrored on both sides. I really love that. After that, I'm going ahead and putting in all of my numbers for all of my trackers. I've really been enjoying using trackers that are straight all the way down the page, like a classic monthly log. So that's what I've been going with for this month for all of my trackers. The first real page is a pretty simple brainstorming page for me to put ideas and for a small place for me to track my monthly bills. The next page is a monthly log and word of the day. So I'm gonna be able to put all events here along with at the end of that having one word to summarize each day. I'm cutting out the edges of that page just for a little more interest. The next spread is where I track what I eat, um, my sleep, and I'm putting my mood tracker on that as well to go with the squareness of this theme of this idea that I'm going with this month. The next page is where I'm tracking my movement and my habits. So that's gonna be my workouts and the routines that I try to consistently keep up with. This next page is my intentions. These are my monthly goals. I'd like to split them up by category. That helps me mentally focus on each one more. And then I'm starting off just my first weekly spread. This has been the spread that has been going with me through October and I've been loving it, which is just a simple place for events and then a long running task list. So this is the flip through. There's not many pages, but all of my pages have been getting completely filled with little notes and little margin writing here and there. So all of the extra space is really working for me. Also, if you're still watching, I would like to say I used red in this spread. However, we have an election coming up and I am certainly voting blue and I hope that you are too. I'll see you guys in the next one.